A man and woman are in custody after a police chase that crisscrossed South King County this afternoon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Steve Solis. I'm Jessica Janner Castro. The chase started in Kent and went into Maple Valley for seven or eight miles before eventually stopping on Petrovitsky and 223rd. King 5 Sebastian Robertson joining us in Kent where it all began. And Sebastian, there were a lot of close calls. One scene after another evolving, causing the King County Sheriff's Office and Kent Police to kind of play catch up on this one. We are where this chase started, 140th Avenue Southeast and Southeast 192nd Street. That's where Sheriff's uh, officials say that a man hijacked a woman in a Subaru and took off. That man was followed by a woman in a white Cadillac. Police believe that the woman in the white Cadillac and that man were working together uh, in that alleged carjacking and I want to take you to some video that happened just uh, a few miles from here. Police say that that white Cadillac SUV had actually been reported stolen and an onboard GPS was transmitting a signal to law enforcement. The woman driving that SUV clipped a car near 148th Avenue Southeast and Southeast 200th Street, then lost control of the SUV, crashing into the woods off the roadway. The driver took off running but was arrested shortly after. I mean, I can't really describe it. You just feel the impact is really loud, just get pushed forward really, really fast, and then it was over before you know it. I was on the way to pick up my kids, so just thankful that happened before rather than after. The man in that vehicle tells me he was very happy to walk away from that accident. I was for the man driving that blue Subaru, you remember? He kept driving, eventually hitting spike strips and coming to a stop near the intersection of Southeast 232nd Street and Southeast Petrovitsky Road. That is an arterial road that um, inconvenienced a lot of people that use it for commuting. Now, it appears that another vehicle, a gray Hyundai, uh, was not involved in the chase, but was also hit in that, in, uh, in that um, accident. So, uh, in total, we witnessed five vehicles damaged in this chase. We are still in touch with Kent police waiting to hear more information as to if any injuries occurred. But the big takeaway, two people are in custody. That chase is over. In Kent, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.